Okay, writers, so we should have our complete rough draft finish. We should have our intro, three body paragraphs, and our conclusion for most of us writing informational. For my two that are writing narrative, you should have a beginning, middle, and end. So either five paragraphs or three paragraphs. Now it's time for us to start rereading it and revising and editing it before we do our final. So today I want us to really look at our punctuation usage in our writing. And why punctuation is so important is not only does it separate your ideas and thoughts, separate it into complete sentences, but it also keeps your readers engaged. And then it also adds like layers to your writing. So meaning that you don't want all just periods, you want a mix. You want a mix of um, question marks and exclamation points and even you know, your commas and your quotation marks if someone is speaking or like you, um, you copied from your research notes, you remember you have to do your quotation marks to cite your source. Uh, that just adds like layers and um, different things to your writing. So this is obviously not my whole writing. Um, I just took a picture of my front page, but then I circled all the different punctuation that I used. And you can just see here, even in, in my intro, I've got all three of them. I started off with a question, so I've got a question mark. And then I came up with this kind of really interesting fact that I wanted my readers to really grasp, so I put an exclamation point. And then um, when I'm just giving like a normal fact or I stated my thesis, just a period. And same thing down here. Um, I was giving lots of facts that I wanted to put a period, but then the ones that I thought was really interesting and I wanted my readers to really like get excited, I put that exclamation point. So for us today, I want you to reread your, your writing so far and circle or highlight every single punctuation mark to not only check to see if you've got a punctuation mark at the end of each sentence, so then that way we have at least four to five sentences in each paragraph, but also see if you've got the different punctuation. See if you've got some periods and then maybe you can even change some of them to exclamation points or maybe throw in a few question marks. Um, just make sure that you're asking a question. And then that way you can see if there's any punctuation errors that you either need to add or fix today.